Hello, it's uh, me again. So just finishing up where we left off there. So um, I had that one as hectares. Um, now, just something that I discovered, obviously, when I started to set this up, is that um, if we put some uh, big numbers in here, let's put a thousand in there, and um, and let's put two thousand in there, and uh, oh, um, yeah, it gets a bit uh, ugly there in the sense of uh, how it goes. So um, what I did want to do there is to um, just to make this uh, this column a little bit wider. So yeah, so it had uh, you know plenty of room there um, for the things. And um, yep, uh, just uh, when I when I did it uh, on setting up this one, um, you can see it's uh, I don't know um, it it sort of moved the the diagram off the page, but I got it um, sort of right this time. So yeah, it's a little bit better. So um, yeah. Uh, there is a uh, thing that I think I might actually just looking at that there. Um, no, I'll, uh, I'll maybe put those in the middle as well, just to, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, meters. Um, there's a number of little things. If you thought it was getting too close, one of the things I did over here was, um, um, let's see, uh, format. Uh, column width and uh, I just made that column there too so that just sort of pulls everything over a little bit gives you a little bit more room um, I'm sort of uh, looking at that one I think I might make that column width four and that should just even everything up um, pretty well so you know you, you're thinking about these things as you go along so um, yes I've shown these here just to the nearest uh, square meter which is um, what we do in there, and now um, we're going to go for the um, for this one here. Um, we'll call this one here uh, areas area. Um, oh, I've been using caps, so area hectares. Okay, uh, enter. So that just to, just to check that this naming. I don't. I haven't. Uh, so that's in there. Right, now I'm going to put a formula in there. And uh, the formula I'm going to use is one that's um, pretty good for engineering. And it's called, um, so I'm going to go a formula. Uh, and I'm going to go insert a function. And I'm going to use, you can see, I've used it previously, but just convert. Okay, so click convert like that. And it says what number. So I want to convert that number there from and uh i've it's um m2 uh, you've got to be very specific with these codes so you can uh look them up uh, m2 is is correct and two unit hectares okay which is uh, all good and oh something's gone wrong there um i don't know what Oh, didn't like that, did it? Um, it's giving me some examples here. Um, I know what I'll do. Um, Okay, so it's it's still a bit of a problem there, but um, you know, rather than uh, spend a lot of time sorting that out, I'm just going to put that over there, and I'm going to have a look and uh, just check out what I put in here. Okay, I uh, yeah, so I'll just put um, let's have a look if we can uh, into oh. That should be H A. Um, oh, okay. Caps lock H A. Should be right. And this one here should be um, uh, M to the power of two. Now, whether that's, let's see what that does. 
Okay, convert. Yeah. Okay, I've got a bit of a problem there. I've got exactly what I said in there. Oh, okay, I can see what's happening here. That should be in uh, quotes, maybe. Okay, so these are little issues that we still can't get right. Uh, area M2, which is, that's area M2. Okay, we come here, we click on here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to try this one again. Delete. Um, so I'm going to go insert the function and I'm going to go convert. Okay. And um, so the number that I want is that one there. Okay. And the from unit is um, as I've got there. Um, okay. M. Oh. Uh, to the carrot, which is on the 6 key, um, 2, all right, so it does that automatically, hopefully, yeah, okay, right, and then the 2 unit is um, HA, Okay, and that's done it as a hundred. So that's uh, sorted that out. Uh, a little bit of a problem there, but yeah, we've got to be careful with our, the way we do things. Now, um, first of all, um, we want this here. Um, usually we show hectares to the nearest uh, four decimal places. So I'm just going here and one, two, three, four there like that and um, I'll just use the same uh, format here as here except uh, <laughs> I just overwrapped what I just did two three four oh, one too many right so there we go there it is there and now we can uh, put our numbers in here 252.236 which is what we had in there and 1004.307 here we go. Oh, we're getting the same answer in both uh, spreadsheets. Ah, no, we're not. Uh, because here, we just want this to be uh, one decimal place. So let's bring that back. There we go. All good. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's there. And then the other thing I did was just uh, in the view, um, turn off the uh, oh, view. I'll, I'll go to go big on this in the view um, turn off the grid lines there we go and uh, there we have it our little uh, spreadsheet with the area of a triangle so a 10 by 10 triangle should be 50 square meters or 0 0.050 of a hectare um, yeah so in the in the hectare this is your square meters in the fourth decimal place there righty um so that can uh there's the area of a triangle and then uh, next we could uh, do the area of a circle so yeah just um one of the things in engineering uh very much so in engineering uh, particularly in CAD is that we we don't like doing the same thing twice so this is why we take a little bit of time to set these spreadsheets up and then uh Every time we need to use maybe a little spreadsheet with the area of a triangle, um, we just copy this one, copy and paste, copy and paste. Yeah. Um, sometimes um, we look up on the internet and find someone else's uh, version that's available, you know, freely and uh, copy and paste. So, yeah, it's all about efficiency and um, trying to do things, but also um, being foolproof being able to be easily checked and that's what the naming is all about so as you can see um, there um, 
that one there should be the base and there's the height yeah and then this here is the area in meters squared and the uh, area in hectares which um, you can use um, say for instance um, I'll just uh, do another little um, sheet three here um, say for instance I wanted to know the uh, area in hectares um, of something so I just want to go put that in there just go plus and I can go back to my triangle area here and um, uh, double click in there uh, or in, click in there and you can see it'll put it in there and uh, area of hectare area hectares okay um, we probably want that in um, to be in four decimal places so back to the home tab and uh, pop that up one but that's that value there so we can um, you know area of the triangle and then we can come over to here and uh, use its area and um, you know multiply it by some other factor that may be in another sheet of the um, spreadsheet so yeah there you go that's it we're done we've used up all the old blades um so all good cheers thanks very much for uh watching if you got any questions uh use the comments below the video or contact me in person um if you see me around and yeah